And so here you can see this guy has uh, been um, using uh, 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 drill motors uh, to make a humanoid robot. So you can see here the drills moving. Yeah. So um, I, I'd like to do the same really. So if you open up one of those drills, you find that you have a chuck, um, a metal gearbox, um, a large 12 volt motor, um, and uh, you get a lithium ion battery and um, this controller that um, switches uh, the polarity backwards and forwards for the motor. Um, but uh, that pretty much has everything you need uh, to, to change, to, to make that into a, uh, into a linear actuator for a robot. So uh, the only thing which I found is that the solution that was used there, the motor weighs an awful lot. So if, you, if I drop this, it's very heavy. Um, and you know, uh, you don't really want the weight of that in your robot if you can help it. Although, I mean, there are advantages in that um, uh, uh, the uh, chuck helps you to stabilize the, 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 um, uh, the center for, 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 your, uh, 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 for any movements, but um, it weighs a lot and I don't think it's uh, really the best uh, way of doing things. So I thought, well, how can I achieve this without that? So firstly, I tried uh, using a, a screwdriver motor, which is 4.8 volts, um, and uh, came up with this. Uh, these are guide wires to hold things in place. Um, this is a lead screw. Uh, and you put a hex bolt in here and basically uh, when the motor turns it moves the screw up and down and that causes uh, this to move backwards and forwards like a linear actuator does. Um, uh, this works um, fine. Uh, the only problem with it is it doesn't really have enough power. Uh, and so I went up from here from the 4.8 volt motor that will actually run okay on a 6 volt battery um, to a larger version uh, from the screwdriver. And here you see uh, a 12 volt uh, 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 battery and again you can buy these just on their own so you can buy the whole screwdriver set for about £20 um, but uh, you can also if you go on to um, Amazon uh, you can purchase uh, the uh, uh, the motors here which is uh, uh, this is the same uh, uh, motor again you can see it has a very high RPM uh, just for 649 on Amazon so again you can make a very cheap actuator and uh, you'll be able to use like eight of these for your robot to, to, to do walking uh, at a fraction of the price that you might do if you have to buy drills and certainly much cheaper than a linear actuator which will cost you uh, I don't know about a hundred pound per actuator which will make a robot very very expensive so um, uh, what I did uh, the motor on its own needs some mountings um, so here you can see um, these are 3D printed off my uh, uh, Ultimaker and uh, uh, these are pretty much straightforward uh, and I'll show you uh, the models in a second. I just uh, modeled them on Tinkercad and you see there's five components here, um, uh, two mountings, uh, a connector for the lead screw um, and then um, uh, holders for the lead screw and the guide wire. Uh, and the main difficulty here actually, you need to link these two. Uh, and I've just used a simple method, method at the moment, but it'd be nice to maybe 3D print a part here. Uh, later on, you might want to connect something like joints or axles so that you can use it for movements, etc. So uh, let me just show you running. I think that's probably the most useful thing. So here, uh, the, the, the switch will turn it backwards or forwards. So uh, hopefully it's still going the right way. Let's have a look. Um, no, wrong way. So turn it the other way. And you should see it move across now. You can see it moves pretty quick, uh, much quicker than traditional linear uh, actuators, which take which move around a few millimeters per se per second, which is really slow. This is much quicker, as you see again. You really get quite a lot of power and torque, and you can hear from the noise it produces. And again, so again, you get a good speed there. So anyway, uh, ah, he says, uh, coming off its uh, hinges. But again, so that's a temporary uh, uh, way of, of, of attaching the two. There you see it's still working fine. Um, okay, so, um, and it's connected, they say, to a lithium ion battery. The nice thing about this, um, you can just simply unplug it and you can charge it like um, uh, any other um, uh, screwdriver battery or whatever, which uh, is great for um, uh, things like robots. I mean, you'd be able to get quite a few of these um, from, you know, uh, uh, broken components and use them. Um, okay, so uh, just to show you, lastly, the um, uh, the, 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 uh, the actual uh, uh, parts. So um, this is the uh, coupling, uh, and that's probably the hardest bit because uh, the shaft here has to be um, um, uh, split. And if you can see here, it's, it's got a, it's got a bit cut out of it. 
Uh, and that's and then it also has to have a coupling to allow uh, the uh, uh, lead screw to come through. So that's probably the hardest bit. But that was actually quite you know once once you got the measurements right, that was fine. Um, uh, the other components are, are pretty much straightforward. So this is uh, 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 this is just just for the for the uh, guide uh, guide wire that runs underneath. Um, uh, this is the the mounting for the um, uh, 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 for the motor itself uh, on one side and and, uh, and here's the mounting for the other side. So the components are actually pretty quick to print. Probably I think they took about five minutes each. So uh, not much time at all. And again, it just took uh, quite a bit of time to prototype. Um, but uh, now that it's done, it should be able to easily replicate uh, again and again. So I'd like you to uh, tell you what, uh, tell me what you think. And uh, if any of you have any ideas about how to connect um, uh, a limb to the other side, uh, I'd really uh, uh, appreciate some ideas. I'm not really sure how to how to then use this linear motion that we have then, then to provide joints. Um, but uh, any ideas would be, uh, or if anyone's uh, been working on that, that would be really greatly appreciated. Okay, thank you for your time, and hope you found that useful. Uh, Again, I think uh, this is far better than servos. I don't think servos are a long-term solution. Uh, and I've been working on uh, uh, a walking robot for probably about a year ago and uh, came uh, stuck because of uh, uh, problems with power-to-weight ratio. I think this hopefully will overcome it. Um, uh, thank you.